So at the moment, my site has a white background with some black text. And you might notice on the final design, it's not that. It's actually the opposite way around. So how, how do we go about changing this? Well, at the moment, all we've really worked on is the content and the structure. The next thing we want to look at is the look and feel of the site. So I need to go into my CSS, my cascading style sheets. So here by default, I've added two. So this is just part of the two by editor. We'll add some defaults in here. It's easier to take things away than it is to add. So we'll just have some defaults. So the first one in here is called base.css. And in here, we're not going to touch this. This file is locked and it's used to add some smart defaults for styling our page. Now, why are we even having this in here? Well, basically when HTML started, it was started before CSS. So the very, very early web had some default styles to it. We want to get rid of this because we're web designers now. And what this means is we want to kind of start from scratch. So here, the base.css is just starting every single site from scratch. It's giving us a base to work with. The file that we're going to work with mostly is style.css. So in here, we have some basic setup. Here we've got the font family being Arial. We have a font size, we've got line heights, we've got background colors, we've got margins and widths on the pages already. So we'll talk about this step by step. So the first thing that we want to do is change the background color and the text color on this site. To what though? Well, at the moment, our background color here is just this pure white color, this hash FFFFFF. If I open this up, I can actually play around with some of the colors make it a green background if I want to, see how that looks. It's pretty bright, but we have something in here. What I want to do is actually turn it into a black background. So I could actually just go in here and click black, for instance, and apply. Let's see how that looks. Well, here you can see my text is still there. I've still got my links in here, but my text is very dark gray. So I could just switch this over to white. Here we go, we'll apply here. We've actually just reversed this around. There we go. But the issue that we've got is we've just picked random colors from the CPI editor. How do we put our colors in here? Well, if we go back to our Figma file, we will actually put them in properly. So here is my black and white colors. If I just right click on this and edit style, I've got this properties thing come up here. If I open this up, I can actually switch to a hex value, which is this. So 111118. This is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna copy this and go back to my HTML, uh, my editor. And instead of this being 0000000, 000 000 000 000, 000, which is pure black, what I'm gonna do is paste in this. So it should say hash 111111118, not six, <laughs> so six things in here with a hash at the start. So this is a very specific color. It's not it's a color that we've picked in our Figma file. It's not just pure black. It's slightly bluish tinted in here. And the color for white, let's double check, see what this one is. We'll go back, we'll edit this one. Luckily, this one is FF, FF, FF. And we have that one in here already. So now we've got the exact color of black that we wanted. And what we can start to do is change some of this stuff now. We could say maybe the font family is wrong. We'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but we can pick in this list. Maybe we'll change the font size by default. So maybe we'll make it 18 px pixels. So let's see if this is a little bit bigger. It is. Line height is kind of a multiplier. So if you remember from before, we go back to here, we have our body style. I can edit this. Here I've got 150%. This is 1.5 times. So exactly the same thing. So no unit here. So what I could do is maybe tighten it up 1.3, a little bit closer together. If it's PX is really tight, it's because it's wrong. It's one and a half pixels between everything. So along kind of one line. So I want it to be a multiplier of 1.5. And the final one is 16 pixels. We'll worry, we'll worry a bit about the typography a little bit later. Now here you might notice why is this one bigger than the other things? Well, the reason for this is we have a selector. The C in CSS stands for cascading, which means overwrite the things we want to overwrite. So by default, the text color for all of these things in here is white. So that kind of looks like that. However, on the H1 tag, we are selecting this using curly brackets and then overwriting the things we want to overwrite. Here we've got font dash size is 24. So if I want to make the H1 tag, which in index.html is aria also, this group, how do I make it bigger? I just increase this. So what is the final one that I've got? Again, I'll go back to here and see on my heading number one, this is gonna be 
40, so a little bit bigger. Let's make it 40. So what we should see now is Aria also is pretty large. It's the wrong typography at the moment. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but we have some things in place now. The next thing we might wanna do is start up these links. How do we go about starting these up? We'll talk about that in the next video.